when doing any of the Mukjong sequences, um, especially the form itself, there are some key points that you want to pay attention to while you are executing these moves. Uh, most of the videos that are out there just show a gen general view of doing the form. Uh, what I would like to do is break up each section into a little more detail so that we could see what the positions are, what the angles are supposed to be, and then the techniques themselves. So we want to start in the knee cheek in your position, the regular Wing Chun position with knees bent, toes out, heels out, tailbone is tucked in, the shoulders are rounded, chest is concave. You can find the center, uh, most lineages do it, it's not always necessary to do it each time you do the form. But we want to do the beginning movement, there are two schools of thought on the first movement. The older one would be shooting forward and turning to get the tonsil in position. Um, that's there. Um, it's the other more popular one would be to run a man song, which you make contact with here and then run the hand up. So we're going to work with that for today. So the contact point would be in this position of the hand, around this area here. Some people do it closer to the wrist. You want to go contact, run the hand, and then the other hand shoots strikes and then grips the head. From here what you want to do is drop the elbow. You don't want to just pull on the head like that because you'll be using your own force. It will be easy for you to get pulled off of your stance if you do this. What you would like to do is drop the elbow down and then the feet go from the Nichi Kinyuma position to Yuma which is the turning. So my left foot is going to turn slightly to run parallel along the straight line. So that's going to happen as soon as my elbow comes down. So my hands remain in position here. My elbow is going to come down and that's where I get the pull from. All right. Now my hand is going to collapse towards me. And at this angle, you want to do an angular bong sow from the top. Don't just collapse completely and then try to shoot the bong sow from a lower arm position under the arm. What you would really want to do is catch this height coming down into the bounce block, like that. So you're going to come towards you, but before the arm becomes level here, you turn and then the bounce comes in. You're cutting in on this angle to make contact with your bounce My feet are already in the Bioma position for the turn, so now I could slide step. This hand remains in guarding the center line. I would like to slide step and then V-step with my foot. From here, the pressure that is maintained on this arm is as I'm in bong so, I'm still maintaining an upward and forward pressure. So you can see I'm actually moving the dummy this way for this. I want to lift the tonsil back up and then I'm going to drive forward. My hand pressure is going to now go at this diagonal and then as my palm strike is coming in, I will use my right leg, same corresponding leg to this hand and step, slide step forward to complete the palm strike. The, the tonsil pressure here is now at the diagonal. All right, so let's recap that. So we wanna go from your beginning posture into one, two, trap. So bring the elbow down, you now on the step. Tonsil, slide step, V step, tom and push back. Same leg is going to slide forward with your palm as you do this. All right. So I hope that this was uh, very helpful. And we're going to continue the series of breaking up the forms into specific techniques and then showing you the same angles and the proper positioning to get make contact with your, with your dummy. All right. So happy 2021, everybody. And uh, we'll see you on the next.